What's up everyone? In this video, I want to show you how to handle slopes in a 2D platformer with Unity Visual Scripting. So I already have a player controller set up for movement, and a few sprites set up for the ground. And here you can see the player is sliding, and we're going to dive in and try to fix that. This setup is using the built-in Rigidbody 2D component, with which we'll be swapping out the friction material. So first we are going to get those set up. Right click, Create, 2D, then Physics Material 2D. This one, call it No Friction. Set the friction to zero. Then duplicate that material, rename it to High Friction, and set the friction to 100. Next, go into your script graph for your player controller and add a fixed update function. Now here, I'm using the new input system, so I'm converting the vector 2 x value from the input to a movement vector variable. But if you're using the old input system, you can just connect the horizontal input into the following value. So we just take the horizontal movement input and check to see if it's not equal to zero. In other words, checking to see if the player is moving or not. Add an if node to check if the player is moving is true. Next, add a rigidbody 2D set shared material node. Then set the material to no friction. And if it's false, we will set the material to high friction. Now we can test and see if this works. See, it works. Very simple. So that's pretty much it. Now I know this seems like a very simple setup and I find it kind of crazy that I spent so much time racking my brain trying to figure this out. Well, let me tell you why since one solution doesn't fit all scenarios in game development. In my case, I had to consider my player getting a knockback when damaged. I struggled as these two features would conflict, leaving my player with inconsistent reactions. My first attempt was to swap out the friction material, but it didn't seem to work and I must have done something wrong. So I went with constraining the rigid body when the player wasn't moving, which seemed to work most of the time. However, after my last devlog, I got a few suggestions about how to fix this and I revisited the friction material solution. But for keeping my knockback working, I decided to set up a check if an enemy is near the player. With the update function, I use a circle cast with a radius of 5 with the layer mask set to enemy, which then sets a bool variable to true or false if the enemy is near. Then back to my slope checker logic. I see if the enemy variable is true or not before swapping the physics material to high friction. So this solution works great for my setup. I hope this video helped you, and let me know in the comments if this works for you.